Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com, ElectronicLessons.com, and PaintballProps.com. This is an application video for the RFID123. Uh, it's currently on Kickstarter. The link is below. Please check it out if you have time. So what I've got here is the RFID123 powering my Arduino Uno. That's been programmed with a piece of sample code that will be included in the written user manual. This is, of course, the antenna. Uh, I've extended it for this specific video. Well, actually, I extended it for another video. I'm just using the extended version. Uh, and this is just a run-of-the-mill micro servo motor. And so what I program this to do is, is actually when I remove power and I plug it in, you'll notice that the servo glitch is just from being powered up. So what the code does is it corrects it on power up. Now I'll use the card that I have allocated and saved into EEPROM memory for the specific circuit to toggle states of the servo motor by 180 degrees. I use another card. I've allocated this card to output three, uh, but this card specifically connected to output two communicates with the Arduino and tells the Arduino to toggle states of the servo motor, so you can make a lock and you can uh, you can edit the code that I provide in the user manual. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, if you haven't seen the RFID one two three, uh, it's very easy to program, very easy to use. Uh, you don't need to connect it to your computer or anything. You can program it in 30 seconds and use it almost right away. Uh, you, you, once you take it out of the box, two minutes later you're ready to go. Uh, the uh, Arduino Uno, the code is simple, easy to program, well commented. Again, if you uh, pledge it, the sample code will be included in the written manual. So one more time. And uh, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to hook all this up. Pardon the crude drawing. And I've only got two colors of markers right now, so I'm going to use red to discuss the blocks, servo motor, RFID123, and Arduino Uno, and I'm going to use blue to make the connections. So first things first, we have, we're going to use our RFID123 to power the Arduino Uno and the servo motor. Now, what we're going to use uh, uh, three pins. We're going to use three pins on the RFID123 four pins on the Arduino Uno, and the three pins on the servo motor. Now on the servo motor, there are uh, three wires. Orange, I've just labeled ORG, uh, red, a red wire in the middle, and brown, BRN. Uh, orange is our signal line, red is our power line, and brown is our ground line. So the first thing we want to do is we want to connect all of our grounds together. Now the Arduino Uno has two ground pins. So you can connect one ground pin from the Arduino Uno to the ground line, the ground pin, single ground pin on the RFID123, and take another the other ground pin and connect to the brown wire on the servo motor. So now we've got all grounds connected. Next, what we want to do is we want to connect five volts from our RFID123 to the Arduino Uno and to the red uh, to the red wire on the servo motor. However, the RFID123 only has one 5-volt line, as does the Arduino Uno. So what you have to do is you have to take two wires, splice them all together, so we've basically got a, uh, basically three wires with a splice in the middle. So we'll connect 5 volts here, from the 5-volt line on the RFID123, to the red wire on the servo motor, and we'll splice another wire and connect to the 5 volt line on the Arduino Uno. So now when we plug in power from our RFID123, we're properly powering the servo motor and the Arduino Uno. Everything is properly powered now. So now all we have to do is worry about the signal lines. So I've used output number 2 from the RFID123, so the card that's programmed into, that's allocated to output 2 will be our, our specific card we're going to use. You can use output 1, you can use output 3, 4, 5, or 6. I used 2 for the specific application. You can use whatever you want. And so what I have to do is I have to connect that to pin 3 on the Arduino Uno because I've programmed that pin as an input. This is an output that feeds a signal into the input of the Arduino Uno, pin 3. And that acts to tell the Arduino Uno, okay, toggle states of the servo motor. Our last connection is our orange pin. We want to take one wire, connect our orange pin, and connect it to pin 9, which is a, an output. 
Servo.h is a library used for the Arduino, uh, and Servo.h uh, by default uh, sets to pin 9 to drive the servo motor. So what that does is that sends pulse width modulated signals to the servo motor to drive it to a certain position. Uh, in any case, once you've made all these connections and you've double checked them, all you have to do is plug in your 9 volt adapter to the RFID 123 and you're off to the races. You power it up, the servo motor will glitch, and then the software will, co will correct itself, and then it's just waiting for the RFID card allocated to output number 2 to toggle the servo motor. So I hope you find this interesting. If you haven't checked out the Kickstarter below, please che uh, check it out. This is just an application video, one of the, f the few that I've uh, made so far. And I appreciate your time, everybody. Thanks for watching.